What's happening, YouTube? And the Kid 51 here, bringing you a little bit of a mail call. Now, this is stuff that I had, uh, some of it I had gotten a little couple of days ago. Um, just wasn't able to make a video about it. Um, and the other I got yesterday, I believe. Um, so I just want to show you this stuff really quick. Um, I apologize if my eyes aren't looking right at the, I'm actually looking at the screen, not the camera. I'm using my tablet. My, um, camera's charging. Um, and I want to have that charged for tonight because I am I plan on doing some airbrushing tonight. So, uh, real quick, let me get to the mail call. Um, Mr. Tommy Shu, Mr. Paint Pimp, why not know them, boy? Thank you very much, sir. Um, I will be putting this up. I also plan on painting that door within the next week or so. Uh, it's got a little bit of a dent in it that I got to fix, but I plan on getting to that in the next week or so. Because um, my stickers are starting to add up, so I want to get them going. Um, so, again, Tommy, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, awesome channel. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, check it out. Um, it's Wild Eye, Wild Eye Northern Boy. Um, awesome dude. He does all types of shit. Uh, he just finished building a sandblast cabinet. Um, he's getting ready to, I believe, work on his on his uh, on his chopper. Um, and that was one of his main reasons why he built the uh, sandblast cabinet was to get his his frame in there, um, so you can sandblast that. Um, awesome dude love your messages love your words of wisdom um, it's dope to it's dope for a young buck like me to hear words of wisdom coming from OG like you so it's pretty dope um, and I thank you for allowing that to happen um, next mail call is from uh, GTS designs um, Gerald if you guys haven't checked him out check him out GTS designs is his YouTube uh, channel uh, Dope dude, awesome, like a big brother, you know, just want to say thank you for being there. Um, I've been going through some rough times in life, and uh, I've been fortunate enough to actually be able to sit on the phone and talk with him and text with him and just shoot the shit with him, and, you know, and he's been uh, been real good, cool dude. Um, so he hooked me up with a couple of things. He's got a store out by where he lives, um, Coast Air Brush. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, they uh, they they have everything. They not only airbrush stuff. They got uh, all types of custom automotive paint, whatever paint brush, paint guns, house of color paints. Um, you name it, they got it. Any anything for custom work. Um, so he went there. He picked up a bunch of stuff for himself, airbrush stuff. Uh, he picked up a badass Iwata um, airbrush um, and a bunch of uh, House of Color airbrush paints. Um, and he also hooked me up with, uh, so while he was there, he hooked me up with um, a few things. Uh, two things of paint here. This is um, Wicked. Uh, it's from Createx. Createx, their Wicked line. Um, this is Detail Black and Detail White. Uh, I will be using this on the helmet there um, yeah I will be using that on the helmet there and uh, like I said detail black wicked air detail black wicked air detail white I'll be using that uh, he also hooked me up with um, airbrush lube so I will be uh, cleaning my airbrush out tonight and using this um, checking it out I've been using a WD-40 as lube and it's been working pretty well for me but I would like to give that a try and see what a uh, See how that works. Um, may or may not make my brush a little more smoother. Uh, oh, he also hooked. Excuse me. He also hooked me up with um, this this adapter here. And what this is for this is for the bottom of the airbrush. This is where the airline goes. Um, the one that he actually hooked me up with is actually on the airbrush. That's a spare. But he hooked me up with this whole setup here. Um, so the adapter is right there. That one there. Right, let me get this one right here is where the adapter is. And what the rest of this is, 
this is um, unfortunately I can't use my other hand because I'm holding a tablet but uh, what this is the uh, it's a quick disconnect and it's um, a valve a air just adjustment valve um, so you hooked me up with not only the adapter but also the valve so I want to thank you for that I don't know I don't remember if I actually put that in the video so thank you for that and he also told me where to go to get the uh, airline that would work with it um, which was Harbor Freight um, so thank you very much for that Gerald um, uh, what else what else what else what else what else uh, I think that's it as far as mail call yes um, so again Tommy Gerald thank you very much I appreciate it um, now let's get over to the uh, helmet here um, if you guys can see that there all right now to the helmet here I'm sorry I actually I actually turned the camera off for a second there I apologize for that so here goes the helmet this is where I'm at so far let's see if I can adjust the light so you don't have that glare on there Let me adjust the helmet all right there you go all right so so far I got the letters are brushed on there all right um, and I was get I was gonna st I was starting to do just a dark well it's a transparent black but a, just a dark fade on the inside of the letters and the inside here and a little bit out on the outside when my power went out so that's why you see that little it just dark in there all right um, let's see the letter there got a little dark but uh, there's a frisket film over. It's this stuff here. Uh, let me see if I get a little piece of it. Uh, this is uh, it's transparent, so you don't see it on there. Um, but it's it's on there. It's a little built. Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, I don't want to peel it up. Anyway, so it's on there, so the letters won't be affected by it. So I can spray over it and then just peel it off um, so that's what I got done so far so the letters are airbrushed white on there dark on the inside here inside of the letters and a little bit on the outside and then a mist of a uh, transparent red around that right around the outside and the reason why I'm doing that if you guys follow me over here oh there goes Gizmo say what's up to Gizmo um, yeah, take a look at Charlie's sticker there. Got yeah, let me pull it down. You guys can't really probably can't see it too good on there. Let's get it in the light. Ugh. Hold on. Ugh. So we see a sticker there. It's kind of like a burgundy-ish, like a black fade around there. And you see around the letters, it's got that dark fade. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. Um, so, as you can see here, dark fade around the letters, and then on the outside of that, on the outside of that would be that, uh, a dark red, probably be a transparent red mixed with some transparent black, give it a little darker burgundy feel. Um, and that's that so far. And then, uh, once that's done, I got, you know, the Maltese Cross, um, what else was it going on here? Maltese Cross, the Pinup Girl, oh, the VW logo, um, and a little surprise for Charlie in the back. I'm not going to reveal that yet, but we're going to have a little surprise back there. I didn't, I didn't tell him that I'm going to put this back. There's something I'm going to put back there. I didn't tell him what it was, so it'll be a little shocker for him. Um, not, not a shocker, but it'll be a little bit of a surprise. We didn't really talk about it. It's just something that I saw somewhere that I know he'll like and I'm gonna add it onto the helmet and hopefully he likes it I think he will um, so basically that's it that's the helmet alright and there goes the letters so far on there alright so I hope you guys are digging it there we go I hope you guys are digging it Charlie I hope you dig it and uh, we'll be on it th tonight and this weekend Alright, later guys.